Yo, it's a swordy fight. We got the big, big sword of Cloud versus the fast, fast sword of Roy. That reverse hit of up tilt doesn't quite get any follow up from it, does Chi, but Kroy, uh, Kryo gets a few hits in. But again, nope, not a big lead. Oh, crunch. You can. Cloud's uppy is so big, and it's so fast. Ooh. Chi being juggled here by, uh, by Kryo, and it's. Uh oh. Wow. Yeah, that's the uh, bummer about Cloud's recovery. It goes, it doesn't snap to ledge, so if you miss space that, somebody can punish you, and that's exactly what Kryo did there. Falls into the cross slash on the platform. Getting those sour spot aerials, you can't quite get the follow up off them though. I'm not sure if they were intended for like a combo starter, because sometimes sour spots are good for that, or if it was just uh, taking what you can get. Cloud with the limit, cross slashes, gets the shield poke. Not enough to kill Roy though. That's a lot of shield damage done. Up smash though, finishes the job. Gonna nair the shield, just gonna get upbeat for him. Nice falling up air from Chi. Keep. Just gonna poke that shield a little bit. The fall that again, that falling aerial into that dash attack looked really nice. Got a nice jar though from Kryu. And Chi had to burn their limit to recover back to stage. <laughs> Footstool side B. Just like we drew it up, right? Down throw. Just get those free charges when you can. Uh, Roy's fast, so you got to be careful about when you can do that sort of thing. But uh, your name is your Cloud. You have big hits to send him far away too, though. I suppose. Oh, tried to spot dodge, but can't. Spot. Maybe he was hoping Kree would have dropped some inputs and just stopped after the first two missed, but it doesn't matter, he got the up smash kill. Interrupted the limit use. Great intercept by Kree there, but can't quite turn it to well, Now he's starting to turn around, he's got Cloud at the ledge. Shield fully through at that time. Cloud's dash attack up. Why did they give Cloud up smash a tip bird that I'll never know? Do it again, but had to burn it just to get back to stage. He didn't even need to use the limit Klim Hazard, but that's all he had. Both of them going off stage is so harrowing. That was a bold play to go for that chase there. Oh. Tried to stall. And not quite enough in the tank left for Chi, and Kryu picks up the game one win. Footstool side B. Smash is so stupid, I love it. Like... This game is so stupid, we should just lean into it. Embrace the stupid. <laughs> Footstools are an inherently funny mechanic. Like just, whoops, I jumped on your head. Bye. Welcome to the abyss.
Oh, there's some really cool... Speak Like, footstool combos are really, really cool because, like, I don't know if you've seen them or had them done to you, but Pyra has side B into footstool combos to repeatedly just trap you in the, the blazing end for a little while. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I've been trying to have something to drink and it got caught in my throat. Uh, but, like, you can... So, you can footstool somebody at the completion of Blazing End to hit them with something else. match back let's see what the stage selection is Three, back to battlefield two, one, go. respectful taunts to start the match we had a summon taunt and a flame sword taunt very very nice or the magic taunt i suppose for cloud Good tech roll to avoid that. Creed is really good at punishing those, um, like, failed tech scenarios. So you really, if you hit your techs right, you gotta mix up your techs recoveries on them, because otherwise he'll... Wow, what a great chase with finishing touch to pick up that kill. Very impressed. That's, yeah, finishing touch does nothing for da it does one percent damage i think but it's knockback vertical like just straight vertical up knockback is insane so if you can just that especially off the top platform like that that's just that's free real estate great spacing from chi there too avoiding the entire burning blade the, like the entire burning blade combo and then punishing it with limit cross slash just a beautiful beautiful string of exchange there and Clem Hazard reaching just enough through the stage to push Kryu off ledge big up smash and that's a two stock lead for Chi jab we got the delayed jair it was the air dodge read jair it was the uh, it was the dial up jair Normally you want to do that on that fiber, high speed stuff, but Kriya's like, I'm going to wait for this to finish beeping and booping at me. Tried to punish that landing on the Klim Hazard. Ooh. <laughs> I think she was going for the spike hitbox on the downward swing of Klim Hazard there. Final hit of the Burning Blade. Gets him with just the tip of down, down tilt. What a trade. I think Kriya takes that for that early kill. I don't think you're complaining about that. Forward throws, just dancing around. Right now, I think, yeah, Kriya's kind of, he didn't slow down, but... He's um, making himself a harder target to kind of pin down by moving back and forth a lot. Uh, he's throwing out fewer moves than he was before. He's trying to make... It, it looks like he's trying to make them... Oh, the neutral get up into the shield. Almost climbed into that limit cross slash, but he's in a bit of trouble here. He's at a significant disadvantage. Roy's got a ton of kill power, but so does Cloud. Missed on the F smash, got it shielded, down throw. Oh, does not throw that kill. Parry into another throw, down throw. That limit blade beam almost connected. Wow, that would have been a hell of a snipe. 
Shield almost broke from that. Good air dodge catch, though, with that up smash. Pressured his shield excellently with the cross line. Got him to jump out of there, because the only place else he could have gone was the ledge. And then grabbed, the, grabbed him right out of the air dodge with that up smash. Evening the series up. Great, 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 great pressure in exchange for Chi there. to game three. Been a very back and forth series. It's hard to see who's really got the momentum here. Chi had a pretty, pretty strong lead in that one, but Kryu scrapped it back. So it really is anyone's game here in game three. It's hard to really figure out a prediction uh, for who's going to win this. Game three. Winner advances to top eight. Kryu tried to mount a comeback, but that fi early finishing touch just kind of... Oof, that takes this wind out of your sails. All right, we're here on Town and City. Lots of platforms, lots of, lots of space to move around. Sometimes, but disjointed aerials are so annoying to deal with. Sometimes, as a character who play, as a player of a character without them, they are so frustrating to get around. And it's, it's I'd imagine when you're playing with a character with a smaller disjoint than your opponent, and it, you start to feel oh, limit blade beam catches. I, I wonder if that starts to, you know, wear on you. Excuse me. Uh, that was that that was a cheat. That had to be a cheat code. I hate how early Roy side P kills. <laughs> Great up smash cat. Good 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 good. Crew likes to air dodge in. Um I've noticed this just from games I've Good combo from Che. I really like that. Uh, that that forward air knockdown, uh, the spike in, into the uh, the limit cross slash was that's great. That's a great follow up. Uh, but like I was saying, Kree likes to air dodge in uh, a lot. Uh, that's his his go to option in disadvantage. It feels like uh, he likes to air dodge towards center stage. Uh, when coming off the edge. At least that's what I've... I, if he was going to kill again, I would have been really disappointed by that, but it looked like it was going to. So, that's something that um, Chi may have to keep an eye out for, because I think that's twice in the past two games that he's picked up kills on catching those air dodges in when uh, Kree was coming off stage. And Kree's going to have to mix that up. Maybe change his... Like, maybe a down air dodge. Uh, just something to not land the same way every time. Because both times he's gotten caught with up smashes for it. 
Alright, I, I don't care if your side B kills now. This is a fine percent for me. <laughs> you know what? If he, touch, he touched your shield. That was on him. What? Oh, he angled his shield high to try to prevent any overhead thing from poking him, but instead got down tilted through it. Good, good, good change of, uh, good mix up there by Chi. And again, you just don't touch Cloud Shield either. That up B. Up B out of shield covers a decent space, comes up quick. Catches the jump. Went high with the limit climb hazard. But down smash at the ledge, smash attack at ledge. Always a good spot to land one. <laughs> Weak hit jab. Thank you, Kryu. There's so many people who will uh, let up after the first two hits of Cross Slash, and then they just take the rest of them. Because there's that pause. Especially Limit Cross Slash people do it, because a lot of people drop regular Cross Slash after two hits. So keep your shield up on Cross Slash, especially Limit Cross Slash, boys and girls, if you don't want to get blasted to Kingdom Come. It looks like... Ooh, back air from Chi. You kind of went past ledge on that recovery and it almost cost him. Goes past ledge intentionally though with that up B to catch Chi, who was cheating at ledge. Limit Blade B misses. We may not see another limit for the rest of this match. Forward throw into Blade Beam. Blade Beam, a deceptively useful um, edge guarding tool. It's a slow projectile, but it so wide that it can take up so much space. Threw him up on the platform and he was able to just run off and back it, giving Chi the win and the set. Threw him 